Hello everyone, I'm Marina and that's a Grammel School. Today I will show you how to deal with tricky nails and how to extend them using acrylatic without any forms. Watch this video till the end and subscribe to the channel so as not to miss new ones. Let's take a look at my model's nails. They are short and deformed. There is a red area above the cuticle, which indicates that the capillaries are close. I am mostly interested in the thumbnail, because there is a pretty rough bump. Of course, we will try to fix it. I will do an extension with Acrygel and cover the nails with gel polish. I will try to make the most out of these nails. This bump on the middle nail was caused by the bruise and on the thumb the nail split apart. Then my model peeled the layer of the nail plate. She just ripped it off and damaged the metric zone. Now this nail grows unevenly. Let's hope that this bump will gradually grow down and the nail will even out. My task is to align the surface and I'm going to use Acrygel. I can't do a deep manicure on these nails, because the capillaries are close and the lunula is wide. I will use a safe drill bit to lift up the cuticle. I process the cuticle in the forward position. The speed is 15 to 17,000 RPM. I place the bit a little diagonally and make small moves. Since there is no abrasive, it lifts up the cuticle carefully and gently. It's especially great for sensitive cuticles with close capillaries. Switch the rotation direction to reverse. And very carefully, without any pressure, process the deformed area. On the thumb, we can see that the lunula zone is very soft, so I have to work carefully, without any pressure. The bit acts as a pusher, it pushes away the cuticle. But as you can see, there is no deep cuticle pocket. So the gel polish will be applied close and not under the cuticle. I will finish up the sidewalls with a diamond flame drill bit. Before cutting the cuticle, I need to buff and polish it with a sphere drill bit, 3.1 in diameter. I work slowly. The speed is 7 to 8,000 RPM, so as not to heat up the skin. Prepare the nails for the coating, degrease and apply primer. You must have noticed these stripes on my model's nails. And they weren't polished during buffing. No, it's not a dry nail plate caused by gel polish, since the nails haven't been covered for more than 4 months. It's leukonychia, a non-infectious disease that causes a nail plate keratinization disorder. Its causes are different. Metabolic disorders in the body, vitamins and microelements deficiency or a rapid growth of metric cells on eicoblasts that change their color from white with time. For the extension, 
I will use this on a Kia Aqua Gel. There are greens in it, which means that this acrylic is harder. Unlike those that have a smooth consistency, without any greens. That's the effect I'm interested in, so that the nail corners don't chip. This Aqua Gel does not require a primer or a base cut, but I don't want to risk and I will apply some. Since these hands are new to me and my model says that her nails tend to split. I will also need a special liquid to spread the material evenly. Apply a thin rubbing layer of the base coat. Make sure that it doesn't flow into the sidewalls or under the cuticle, as polygel will flow there too. Cure in the lamp for 30 seconds. You can either remove or leave a tacky layer on the base cut. Some nail techs say that polygel tends to flow over the tacky layer, but I have not seen that, so I don't take it off. I need to extend the lens a little, so there is no chance of further damage to the nails. I squeeze out the small drop of polygel, take it off with an orange stick and put it on the nail. I suck the brush in a special liquid for aligning the material and spread the acrylic ball, first pushing in the middle, then pushing it to the cuticle. Press the sidewalls tight and press near the cuticle to avoid any liftings. Make sure that the brush isn't too wet, as it will melt the material which will also cause liftings. Now I gradually pull the material, forming a free edge. We have chosen a squall shape. I apply the material right on the skin. I form the nail tip and lift up the fallen material from the inside. I'm trying to smooth out the surface very well, so I don't have to file later. Cure in the lamp for one minute. I take a larger drop of acrylic to form the correct architecture on the thumb. You can spread the material with an orange stick. Push it in the center and spread it out on the sidewalls. Push the material right in the dip. And pull the lens and the corners. The stick is easy to use because it does not get stuck to the material. As we can see, the surface is not quite flat, so I like smoothing it out with a brush. Building up the architecture, make sure that there is a smooth lift, the highest point and a descent.
the tacky layer and shape the free edge. I file the nail surface without touching the cuticle zone and I buff in the cuticle area. Now we need to remove any extra thickness. To do this, I will take a carbide drill bit with a thin tip, turn the hand over and move from right to left in the forward position. Did you like this transformation? Write in the comments. And don't be afraid to work with difficult nails. Success in your work! Bye bye! Oh no 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 no, it's wrong once again! How did you like the transformation? Write in the comments. And don't be afraid to work with difficult nails. Success in your work! Bye bye!